Hello guys and welcome back to another tutorial. Today we're going to talk about our plugin GF WooCommerce Affiliate. And in particular, we're going to learn how, after registering on our affiliate program, the affiliates can have access to all of their information, the visits, conversions, payments, commissions, everything they need to know in one place and in real time thanks to our very useful dashboard. Now, before we start, please make sure you hit the like button below this video, subscribe to our channel and also click on the bell so you don't miss any of our videos. Now, let's start! Okay guys, today what we want to do is enable a specific place on our shop to display a dashboard where the affiliates can have access to all their information. For example, the commissions, the visits, conversions, and so on. Now, to begin, let's go over now to our plugin. From here, we will be able to manage the dashboard and decide how we want to display it. For this, we need to go over to the General Options and Affiliate Dashboard tab. In here, this first option will allow us to decide where we want to show the affiliate dashboard, either in a specific page using the shortcode or in a specific endpoint inside the My Account page. Of course, in today's video, we're going to review both of these options. First, let's go ahead and select this one in a specific page using the shortcode. In this case, a new field will appear below where we can choose the affiliate dashboard page. If we open here, we will be able to search among all of the pages we already have available in our shop. In this case, I have already selected this one, the affiliate dashboard, which I had previously created precisely for this purpose. Now, in order to insert the dashboard on this page, we can either use this shortcode, which I'm going to copy right now, or we can also use a Gutenberg block. Next, we can also decide what information to show on the affiliate dashboard for the guest users. In this case, we can display only the affiliate registration form or show the affiliate registration form plus the login form. Also, we can find this option to enable social share buttons for the affiliate referral URL. And if we do enable it, then we can find some more options to customize this feature. For example, we can select which social media will be available in the link generator section. Now, going back, we have already selected this page to show the dashboard. And now, to show you how we can actually insert it on this page, let's go over to Pages and All Pages. Here we have the affiliate dashboard page, so let's go ahead and edit it. As you can see, this is a new page. It is still empty. So, to insert the dashboard, the first option that we have available is to use a shortcode. So, let's go ahead and click over here. We're going to search for the shortcode. Here it is. And now, all that we need to do is go ahead and paste the shortcode we had already copied from the plugin. And that's it. Now, all that we need to do is update the page. Here we go. And let's go now to preview it on a different tab. Here we have it. This will be our affiliate dashboard. But let's go back for a moment to the editor so we can see how to insert this same dashboard, but this time using the Gutenberg block. So let's go back to edit the page. First, let's remove this shortcode. We click here and we remove it. And now, once again, we click over here, but this time I'm going to search for affiliates. As you can see, the plugin includes three different blocks. We have the Affiliates Registration Form, Affiliates Dashboard, and the Affiliates Link Generator. In this case, of course, we need to select the Affiliates Dashboard, and we can now automatically see it here. Again, let's update the page. We go back to see the preview. Here we go. Again, we have obtained the same result as we did with the shortcode. This will be the dashboard our affiliates will be able to access to review all their information. But before we can review it in detail so I can show you inside each of these tabs, I want to show you first how we can insert this dashboard, but this time from an endpoint inside the My Account page. So once again, we go back to our plugin. Again, we need to go to General Options, Affiliate Dashboard. And now what we will do is simply change this first option and select now to show the Affiliate Dashboard in a specific endpoint inside the My Account page. So let's go ahead and save. Perfect. And now, as I am already registered as an admin and as an affiliate, we can see this result directly from my account page. Let's go over. From here, we can go over to the menu. And as you can see, we will find a new endpoint specifically for the affiliate dashboard. Let's click on it. And we will get to this section. 
Let's see. This dashboard divides on six different tabs. We have the dashboard, commissions, visits, payments, link generator, and settings. First, let's review the dashboard itself. In here, as an affiliate, I will find a comprehensive view of all my information. For example, we can find here the total earnings, the commission rate, the conversion rate, visits, how many visits there were today, and over here, a summary of the recent commissions and the recent visits. Next, if we continue, we have the commissions tab. Here, we will find a list with all of the commissions that I have generated. Also, we will be able to further filter this information either by status, for example, pending, pending payment, paid, or also make use of the date filters. Additionally, we can also decide how many items we want to show per page. Then if we continue to the visits tab, I will find a detailed list of all the visits that I have generated to the store. Again, from here, I can filter by status, in this case, not converted or converted, meaning the visits that have generated a sales or not, and also to filter them by date. If we continue, we will find the payments. We can first read this message that says that we will be able to request a payment after the first commission is generated and confirmed. Then additionally, we will find a list with all of the commissions that we have already been paid. And same as we have seen before, we can also find this useful filter if we need to find a specific information much quicker. So again, we can filter for the status or for the dates. Now let's go over to this tab, the link generator. Here, there is something very important I wanted to show you. Every registered affiliate will be assigned a specific ID, just like this one we have here. This information will actually help the plugin to track the visits and sales that are generated in order to assign them to the correct affiliates. So on this side of this section, we will find this referral URL, which is the link that I will use to send traffic over to the store. So let's have a closer look. If we copy this URL and we go ahead and we paste it here, we can see, first of all, the default structure of the store URL, and then we can see a question mark, ref, equal, and the ID. What this means is that whenever the affiliate sends traffic to the store, it will be using this URL, including this ID, so therefore the plugin can track and assign the visits and sales to the correct affiliate. Now, from this other section of this tab, the affiliates can also generate other links so they can refer to specific pages of the shop. For example, if we go ahead and enter here the link to my account page, the plugin will automatically generate this referral URL. So if we copy this, and again, we are going to paste it here to have a look, we can see that this is indeed the URL for the my account page, but it will include now the referral ID. In summary, from this tab, the affiliates can generate different links so they can direct the traffic to the store. Now, finally, let's review the settings tab. As you can imagine from this tab, the affiliates will be able to enter and edit their personal information. They can add more info about themselves over here. They can edit the billing info for the invoices. They can also enter the bank details for the payment of the commissions, or they can include a PayPal account email and finally, they can decide whether or not they want to be notified on new commissions and also on the paid commissions by simply enabling these two options. As you can see, showing the affiliate dashboard is very easy. You can either show it on a custom page thanks to the shortcode and the Gutenberg block, or you can display it inside the My Account page on a specific endpoint. Now guys, that was it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you next time. Bye bye!